Um, any uh, MMA or UFC fans in, in here today, in the, in the room, Kara is one of them. I asked that to the, the class yesterday, no one else uh, raised their hand, so I was like, well, uh, here we go. But um, I, I've been following um, UFC for, I think, a few years now, not, not super uh, intensely, but just every now and then I'll check. And, and when COVID first started spiking, um, UFC had to shut down temporarily. There's been, all sports had to shut down. There's really nothing going on. And so all the fighters didn't really have any more fights. All the fights got canceled. And there's this one fighter, his name's Max Holloway. He's a, a really good UFC fighter. And during the COVID shutdown, all the fighters are kind of resting, letting, letting their bodies recover. Uh, but Max Holloway was posting on his Instagram uh, during the whole shutdown, he was posting videos of him working out, and he goes, I'm still at fighting weight, like, I'm ready to fight, I'm ready to fight, I'm still at my fighting weight, and all the fighters were like, what the heck, this guy's crazy, like, he's still at his fighting weight, because usually fighters, they don't walk around at the, at the weight that they fight at, they're usually a little bit heavier than they cut down for their fight, and so he was still cut for his fight, he was ready to go, he didn't let COVID or anything uh, basically distract him from his job, he was ready to go at all times, and you could say he was ready in season, and he was ready out of season for his job. And that's what our verse is today. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. This is Paul speaking to a young Timothy. And he says this to Timothy. Preach the word. Be ready in season and be ready out of season. And some other translations, I really like what they say. They say, uh, Timothy, preach the word. Be ready in times of favor and in times when you don't have favor. Or other, another translation says, Timothy, be ready in times of fruitfulness and be ready in times of unfruitfulness. And basically, the message for us here is to be ready. What do we need to be ready in? For Timothy, it was preaching the word. That's what God called Timothy to. God called Timothy to preach the word. But what is it that God has called you to? You see, God has gifted you. He's uniquely made you. Uh, uniquely made. He's gifted you in many ways, in many different ways. And what is it God has gifted you? And what talents has God has, has given you? And how can you be ready? And how can you best use those for the kingdom? And how can we stay focused on that? How can we stay faithful on that? In season and out of season, regardless of what is going on around us. And that was Paul's encouragement. And that's our encouragement today. Be ready in season and out of season. Meaning, don't let the circumstances of what are going on What's going on in our country? Don't let the condition of our country, don't even let who's our president or who's not our president distract us of what we have been called to do, of the mandate God has given and put on each one of our lives. We have to stay ready and we have to stay focused. And how do we do that? I think Jesus makes it so clear on how you and I can stay ready. He says, abide in me. I'm the vine, you're the branches, abide in me. Apart from me, you can do nothing. That's how we stay ready. We stay abiding. We stay alert. We take our time with the Lord serious. We live in serious times. Therefore, we must take our walk with the Lord serious. Because the Bible says we need to walk wisely. Live circumspectly. Because the days are evil. And so that's my encouragement for you today. What is it God has called you to? What is it he's placed before you? And how can you stay faithful? How can you stay focused? How can you stay ready regardless of what is going on around you? Do not let the outside circumstances of our world distract you or pull you away from what it is God has for you today. So be ready in season and out of season. Let's pray. Lord, again, we, uh, we thank you, God, for, for the call you have on each one of our lives. Every single person in this gym right now has a call from you to continue to advance your kingdom and what you've gifted them in, Lord. And I pray that we'd be a group ready, a people group focused, faithful, ready for anything, Lord, in season and out of season. Give us a heart of urgency to follow you, to live a life on fire for you today. And as we go into this workout, may we keep that in mind. Lord, may we honor you and glorify you through it honor you and glorify you through our bodies, what you've gifted us, and, and, and the gift you've given us with our health, Lord. So we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.